Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm Jerry Delaportis, technician at Hennessy Performance. Today we got something special that we wanna share with you. It's our Resurrection 1200 build. A while back you guys saw me build an Exorcist on camera and we had a lot of interest uh, from the viewers on wanting to see a Resurrection build. So we're gonna do exactly that today. And there's some actually major differences between the two. On this Resurrection here, we're gonna use a 416 stroker motor. It is a sleeved motor, fully built. We're also gonna put an LT5 supercharger on it. We have a full fuel system, race gas only. We have a clutch going in this one. It's manual transmission on this car, axles, drive shafts, everything that you need to handle that kind of horsepower. So this is a very limited production package. Keep them rare. They are no longer available. This is the very last one, but we still do have our Exorcist on the menu. Exorcist is still a really great choice for your everyday guy who wants to drive his car every day. You go to any gas, pump gets you some 93 octane or 91 if you live in California and you're on your way. So what you're gonna see today is I'm gonna put that whole engine together and start to get this thing going. All right time to stop talking and start building so get ready to see some cool stuff. Got the motor all together as you can see. Got the headers bolted on just to look pretty. They might come back off and then go back on. Uh, but for the most part, our long block is wrapped up. Everything's covered, everything's torqued and marked. And I'm getting ready to move on to the next step. I am going to be installing this triple disc clutch. So this clutch is rated for the torque range that we're gonna be in. But we're making some good progress, so stay tuned. just got the engine successfully mounted onto the cradle. We got the transmission bolted up. We've got the factory wiring harness kind of all put in place where it needs to be. So as you know, the Resurrection uses an LT5 supercharger. An LT5 supercharger does use port fuel injectors in addition to the high pressure direct injection fuel injectors. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna take this computer uh, and I am going to mount it behind the fender of the car, and that computer will control that system so that it can kind of work in tandem with the factory computer, and we can get the fuel we need when we need it, when the boost really comes on strong. And we got this really nice piece right here, billet hat, three fuel pumps in here. Basically, the car will idle and run on one fuel pump until uh, voltage is applied to these two via boost, and then these two fuel pumps will come on and we'll have all the fuel that we need when we're you know, in the boost making power. All the wiring from the fuel pumps goes up to a common box that's a relay box. It'll be turned on with ignition and it'll say, hey, okay, turn on one fuel pump, let the car run. Once it sees boost, it's also wired into this relay box. It'll turn on pump two and three. Take a look at this stuff right here. I'm about to button it up. You'll never see it again. That's pretty much it. dance. The time has come to finally mate the powertrain to the body of the car, connect some loose ends, put some fluids in this thing, and we're close to starting it up.
is the final resurrection. It is a super limited run. We've built the boatload of Exorcist. People love them. This was kind of like a freak version of the Exorcist. That was, you know, one of John's crazy ideas that he's got out of nowhere. Just boom, built this. All right. So that's what we did. And here we are in the resurrection. LT5 swap, uh, CL1 1LE Camaro with 1200 horsepower. Sounds good to me. So I spent spent a while building it, um, taking my time, making sure everything looks just as pretty as it should, and the rest of the car looks. This was a brand new car. We started out with right now we got 132 miles on it, um, so literally a brand new car with double the horsepower. That sounds like a cool customer to me. Resurrection is a super limited run. This is the last one. We do want to share it with the world. Um, even though there's no more of these, we are still making the Exorcist. The Exorcist is a daily driver. This could be a daily driver too. I think it's a little bit rowdy for the street. Obviously has an LT5 in it. Um, has all the stuff that goes with it, a lot more parts, um, drivetrain parts, clutch, drive, you know, all that that goes with higher power cars. But the Exorcist, something you get in, you drive every day, um, have a great time with, race people, have fun, all is well. I'm just focused on testing this car, driving it. It's already been through dyno, made over a thousand to the wheels. It's been through test drives. It has been through uh, cold start, hot start, all the drivability stuff, wide open throttle stuff. The tuners have done everything that they do on the laptop. I don't do any of that. I just turn bolts and talk and drive. So here we go. Let's see if I can roll into this thing a little bit. benefit from a different set of tires. It is a street car, so I don't know what the customer is going to choose to use it for, but whatever he chooses to use this car for, he will have plenty of horsepower, which was the main goal here. Obviously that LT5 blower is massive under the hood, so when you open it up, I mean, it's there. So we have this custom carbon hood that's similar to like a ZR1, C7 ZR1 style hood. Um, that is made into a Camaro ZL1 1LE hood and it looks super cool, super trick and also factory. We've got it all packaged into this one deal and it just all works flawlessly. This car drives great. I've got my seat cooler on, I've got my AC, you know, I've got everything that the car came with. We didn't lose anything. The only thing we're losing is some traction. You know, that's really not a bad gig at all. and the resurrection and the whole idea of it. I just love Camaros. I love American horsepower. I love Chevrolets. Uh, my first car was a Camaro. Building this car was kind of cool knowing it was the last one. Maybe one day it shows up at an auction. I don't know. I'll try and buy it if the price is right.
this one's done. On to the next one. More horsepower to make, more cars to build. I love my job. It's just great. It really is. I thoroughly enjoy it. My God.